Hello, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So as you all know, Q&A Maker is now generally available and uh, with the same uh, Q&A Maker.ai as the portal for using the new one. But uh, at the same time, we do have access to the preview portal as well. Uh, and we can we have a provision to migrate all the knowledge base which we created in the preview portal uh, uh, to the new portal or to the new uh, QA maker um, knowledge base so we will see how to do this step by step so let's uh, go to let's open up the QA maker preview portal you can just click over here this link it is nothing like just a uh, qna maker.ai slash old and you will be uh, the, the preview portal will get open and you need to do this migration before november 2018 as this preview portal is getting deprecated uh, by november 2018 um, once you have logged in or uh, once you have uh, opened up the preview portal just click on my services so that all the knowledge base which we have created will get listed up so let's uh, work with this MVP demo FOQ. Click on edit. So once it gets load, so you have this 29 QA pairs. Great. Just click on download knowledge base. Okay, so before going to the new portal, I just want to show you one thing over here. If you click on publish, just have a look like we are how much source or documents we are using right now. One, two, three, four, and plus this editorial. Okay, so we are using more than three. Just, uh, just make a note of it that we are using the, uh, more than three documents for this particular knowledge base so this knowledge base is now downloaded yes let me copy this okay now uh, let's go to our new portal that is qna maker.ai and let me sign out from here because that was an old uh, id and I want to create, uh, I want to migrate this into altogether new one. So now uh, I have been logged into my new portal, QNA maker.ai. Uh, and as you can see, it's opening up the knowledge base. Okay, so let's create a new one. So I have already created uh, my QA service into Azure portal, which is here, and we will be using this QA new KB. This is my um, QA maker service, which is using a pricing tier, management pricing tier as free. Now, remember, this free tier uses three managed documents and the knowledge base we are trying to migrate is using more than three documents so i just want to show you like how it uh, how it could get affected and how what we can do at that particular of time so let's select the id uh, let's make the subscription and this is the one q and a new kb which is using that uh, f0 tier management tier and now what you have to do is just add up a name of the service and leave this uh, section step 4 as blank you need to create a blank knowledge base in order to migrate the existing one because when you uh, try to import the knowledge base it will replace your entire uh, existing knowledge base into your uh, in, in the existing service so it's better to create a blank one so once it's created go to settings now here scroll down and click on import knowledge base 
so we have uh, downloaded this knowledge base from our preview portal just let's open up so it says that replacing a knowledge base overrides any existing q a pair in your knowledge base and that's the reason we it's pre, it's uh, advisable to have a blank knowledge base altogether for migrating it for the first time click on replace it should give an error so this is what remember i asked you to make a note of uh, the earlier preview portal which were using more than three documents and the q a maker service management pricing tier is of f0 that is it will be using only three documents as managed documents so that's the reason we are getting this error so in that case either you can create a new uh, q a maker service into your subscription with the standard uh, management pricing tier uh, which has no limit for the man documents to be added or you can go to oops okay so here it is so this is the uh, q a maker service which we selected from there right so let's go to this pricing tier and it is uh, f0 free as changes to standard so that uh, there will be no limit for the number of documents it will take fewer seconds to update and now once it's updated let's go to our q a maker portal again let's try to import the same thing again click on replace hope this time it will work yes it's getting added because we changed the pricing tier for the management pricing tier and is imported successfully so you can see all the QA or all the QA pair which was into the preview portal is now into new portal just click save and train we can test it here welcome to FAQ bot okay that's fine let's publish it so remember we created a new knowledge base we download the knowledge base from the preview portal uh, we imported that particular knowledge base uh, into this new portal and we have just clicked on save and train and publish I will try to add this or connect this to our Azure bot so for the brevity of this article uh, sorry for this uh, video I have already created one web app bot so here it is let's go to application settings viewers please pardon me if I'm uh, talking something out of context because it's morning 6 and I'm working on this for entire night okay so let's add the knowledge base ID over here take the auth key same and uh, this would be the same q and a kb kb okay click on save again it will take few seconds we can test it straight away under the bot management test in web chat section click on greetings great so in few steps we just migrate our uh, preview knowledge base to into the new portal 
uh, but one point uh, to be noted over here is the first thing make sure you are using the right management tier so that the number of uh, documents being added over there and uh, the tier which you are using in this uh, while creating the QA maker service does match for a smooth migration and second very much important thing is this only migrates your knowledge base i repeat this only migrates your knowledge base and not your chat logs okay it could be migrated but with some other steps and not with this migration this steps will only migrate your existing knowledge base a pair of your and a set of your knowledge base into the new portal so hope you have uh, learned something new from this and uh, this will help you into your migrations please make sure you make it before november 2018 uh, for having your q a bot up and fine so thank you for watching kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you